questions deal with mixed numbers and we have to convert them to improper fractions. We know that these numbers are mixed numbers because of the whole numbers out front. So to convert them to improper fractions, we have to do the following. Let's first start with six times two over three. We first have to multiply the denominator, which is three, by the whole number out front. So three times six gives us 18. And then we have to add on the numerator, which is two to the 18. 18 plus two gives us 20. So 20 is our new numerator and we keep the same denominator of three. So our final answer is 20 over three. Now we know that this is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So therefore 20 over three makes sense as our answer. Now let's move on to the next question. Two times seven over nine. Again, we take the denominator and multiply it by the whole number out front. So nine times two gives us 18. And then 18 plus seven leaves us with 25. So 25 is our new numerator and we keep the same denominator of nine. So our final answer is 25 over nine. And again, this makes sense as an improper fraction because the numerator of 25 is greater than nine. So our next question is four times two over five. So again, we take our denominator of five and multiply it by the whole number out front. So we have five times four, which gives us 20. Then we add the numerator of two onto 20 to give us 22. So 22 is our new numerator and then we keep the same denominator of five. So we have 22 divided by five. And this makes sense because the numerator, 22, is greater than the denominator, which is five. So now moving on to six times four over nine. We take the denominator and multiply it by the whole number out front. So six times nine gives us 54, and 54 plus the numerator of four gives us 58. So our new numerator is going to be 58. And then we keep the same denominator of 9. So we have 58 over 9. And again, this makes sense because 58 is greater than 9. Now moving on to our final question, we have 10 times 8 over 9. Now again, our first step is to multiply the denominator by the whole number out front. So we have 9 times 10 gives us 90, and then 90 plus the numerator of 8 gives us 98. So 98 is our new numerator, and we keep the same numerator as the original question. So we're left with 98 over 9. And the numerator is greater than the denominator, so 98 over 9 makes sense as our final answer.